Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 42nd episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. Today I wanted to start off by saying that Apple has recently released iOS 5 Beta 7. So if you guys want more information on iOS 5 Beta 7, such as all of the features and changes, then you can check it out on my website. I will have a link to it down below in the more info. Moving on, apparently Apple has lost an iPhone 5 prototype, and they actually lost it last month at a bar in Kava 22, which is a mission district and San Francisco, California, and this basically just sounds like last year's incident where they lost an iPhone 4 prototype at a bar in California. And apparently police went to the home of the person who supposedly took the iPhone 5 prototype and they searched his house. And even after they confirmed that they didn't find the prototype, the Apple employee that actually lost it tried to bribe the person to give it back to him. So it just sounds like another publicity stunt from Apple. Also along the same lines, Apple actually updated the icon for the iPhone in their latest photo stream beta and it looks significantly different. And they could have accidentally included an icon intended for the iPhone 5 in the photo stream beta. And these are the mockups that were actually created from that icon. And it could either mean that Apple would be creating a smaller iPhone than the current iPhone, but the screen size would still be 0.2 inches bigger, or they could create an iPhone that's roughly the same size with a screen that is extremely bigger, somewhere around the ballpark of four inches. And since a lot of analysts and rumors have been pointing towards multiple iPhone models, it's definitely possible that this icon could serve for more than one device, such as the two concepts that were created from this icon. To break things up, I want to talk about the HP touchpad really quick. So if you're still looking to get that special $99 and $149 price for either the 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte version of the HP touchpad, then you will have to wait because apparently they are producing one last round and that will be available in a couple of weeks. So I will keep my website updated. I will keep the post updated that I have down below in the more info. And if you guys follow me on Twitter as well as like my Facebook fan page, then you guys will definitely know when HP has touchpads available on their website. And I've actually been getting a lot of questions about it, a lot of questions about pricing, availability, where people can get it on both Twitter and Facebook and even in the comments of my videos. So again, if you just check that post frequently and you also check my Facebook page and my Twitter account, then you will be updated and you will know when you can get it from HP. Again, it should take a couple of weeks. Also, progress has been made on the Android for touchpad port. This time, the members of the TouchDroid team actually managed to dual boot Android 2.3.5 gingerbread on the HP touchpad with WebOS. So they actually posted a video of that. And again, that is in the article that's down below in the more info and it shows the person actually inside of webOS and then they turn it off and then they boot into Android and then they boot back into webOS now currently the touch screen doesn't work as well as a couple of other things so it's similar to what the cyanogen team demonstrated however this seems to be a later version of Android now a lot of proposed iPhone 5 cases have emerged over the past few months however no one has actually taken the time to get one that looks like it could be the real thing and compare it to the iPhone 4 or the iPod Touch 4th generation until now. There's an Italian blog that actually did this and if the case is accurate then it means that the iPhone 5 will be slightly bigger than the iPhone 4 and it will be extremely thinner than the iPhone 4. However, I think that Apple will try and keep the same size overall. They'll make it thinner and they will make the screen bigger. So probably similar to what I was talking about earlier with the photo stream beta icon concept. Also, if you're an iPad user, a new game has been released. It's called Crimson Steam Pirates, and it's actually by Bungie Aerospace. So if you guys didn't know, Bungie actually created the Halo series. So if you guys are interested in that, you can download Crimson Steam Pirates for free. It's only on episode or voyage two out of eight. And the first one only takes about three minutes or so to play through. But again, it definitely has potential, especially with future releases. And when you take into account it's free, I mean, why not get it if you have an iPad already? Also, the iPhone dev team updated Red Snow to 0.9.8 beta 7. And this actually includes support for iOS 5 beta 7, as well as including support for iOS 4.3.5 and 4.2.10 without having to point it out in older firmware. So it's definitely a 
great update. However, if you're already jailbroken on 4.3.5, it doesn't really affect you except for the fact that if you need to boot tethered again, you can point it at either the 4.3.5 or 4.3.4 firmware, and you can boot into your tethered state that way. And finally, Apple released a new iPad commercial called Learn, and it definitely looks cool, and it shows how the iPad 2 can be used for educational purposes and not just entertainment purposes. And it really does demonstrate the iPad's true potential. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up if you did. Hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video. And I will have everything I talked about in today's video down below in the more info, as well as links to my Facebook fan page and Twitter accounts. Be sure to like my Facebook page and follow my Twitter accounts to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.